I had forgotten to try this pellet after the Predator, but I wanted to see how the ballistics gel results compared to the results from my water trap test, so the next pellet on the list was the RWS Super H point. This pellet hit the gel hard at 895 feet per second and seemed to have expanded immediately on impact, but upon closer inspection of the cavity pattern, you can see that the initial bubble is formed mainly because of the pellet's flat face. This bubble then disappears and then a new one starts, this one due to the pellet's expansion. This means that if you're hunting small game like squirrels or chipmunks, the pellet won't expand within the animal because it takes about 3 inches for the pellet to do so. After expanding, just like in my water trap test, the hollow point section of the pellet is ripped off, getting left 9 and 3 quarters inches in the gel, while the body continues easily through 13 and 3 quarters inches of the gel, creating almost no cavity along the way. The head of this remaining body was reduced to 0.15 inches from the pellet's original 0.219 inch head, resulting in a 32% decrease in diameter. So although this doesn't matter all that much unless you're shooting through more than 9 and 3 quarters inches of flesh, I still find this a major flaw in design for a so-called hunting pellet, and the Predator definitely makes a better cavity.